Angle of release. This by far is the most important and most difficult thing to master. You start off by getting your plant foot position correct because that will set you up to have the correct point of contact on your foot which should be high and inside. And of course you want your toe to be behind the heel so that you direct the ball forward. We'll see what we're talking about in the next few examples here. Immediately, Abby approaches the ball from the side, angled. You'll notice that she hits the ball on the inside of her foot, then comes around. That's important. Here she does it again. She's going to come from the side, and her foot is next to the ball, and even slightly in front of it, and then she hits it on the inside of her foot. Okay? Why? Because on the inside of your foot, there's a bone and versus soft tissue, and that gives her what she needs to have more power inside and around. Okay, you can hear, see young Avery here as she approaches the ball. Okay, her foot is also angled. And there she is on the inside of the foot. Now she'll push it forward and come up and around. And it comes off the inside of her foot where there's a hard bone. You see that? And around, very nice. Again, angle, her foot is in front of the ball, angled perfectly, she hits it and swings. You can see it better from the side. What's really important here is the toe to heel ratio. Notice her toe is behind her actual heel on her right foot. That is the mechanism really needed if you want to direct the ball forward and not up. Notice again, the toe is actually behind the heel. And at that moment, when you can't do that anymore, you need to strike the ball.